Hey, hey, what's up guys, it's DB7, I hope you're doing well, and I hope you're ready for this beautiful video. Yeah, notorious pig. But this time, I won't be in X50. I put in a Detroit DD60 series. So, we're gonna have a lot of nice engine sounds and nice jig breaking. So now let's leave this yard nice and slow like we used to do in the realistic video and I'm pretty sure you all see this beautiful Moza wheel TSW guys I prepared you a video to show you when you buy it what you receive so unboxing everything show you every part that you have in box so maybe it can help you I hope it will and I will let you know what I think about this beautiful wheel letter all right i changed the wheel the universal hub to be able to use this wheel and put some function on it without the moza wheel base i use it with my logitech g27 gold old rig at the moment so yeah you can make it everyone can use this beautiful wheel I also had the shifter, so HGP shifter, it's crazy, guys, it's night and day, it's so, it's so awesome, I will show you this in the video, so stay tuned for those of you who are curious about Moza, I will show you in detail what you got when you buy it, and by the way, I didn't buy it, I received it to promote those, and I can tell you that wasn't my plan to buy a shifter like this because the Logitech one was not really good so I just waited to have some money for it so thank you so much Moza I appreciate it a lot you don't even know how much grateful I am and I can tell to everything it's a game changer to have this shifter and also this wheel guys if you pick up the wheel with the Logitech you will need the universal hub if you see it correctly, it's exactly where are my right hand on the wheel. So in my last video, I didn't know where to put it and the cable was just like not really at the great place. So I'll show you a video to explain you why it's this is the best spot. If you want to put it somewhere, it's really, really easy. I thought um, what is an elastic in English? I'm sorry, you know, I'm not perfectly bilingual. So I think like an elastic. Um, what is a fucking elastic? A rubber thing round that can stretch. <laughs> so just put it under the wheel. Where's the clamp? And right on the top where you can adjust the clamp to tighten it up. So I'm pretty sure you will understand it. You will figure it out the way. But this is the perfect way I can make the complete 900 degrees of the wheel and the cable, it's always perfect. It just rolls just clean, never, never tension on it. So I'm really, really happy, guys. Now I will let you enjoy this beautiful video. It was seven minutes to leave this yard, taking some picture and told you everything. Now I will let you enjoy a one hour video without talking too much, all right? So stay safe out there. I hope you enjoyed this. And by the way, <laughs> one more thing I want to know. The camera that's filming my wheel, my setup. Do you prefer top left corner like this or top right corner? I know top right is like you maybe miss a bit of the GPS and things like this. But most of the time you can see better like on the driver's side like I was looking before now when I'm looking out I think it's like I, you left something I think it's not perfect but at the same time it's really cool to see like this the speaker the the CV and like my GPS on the roof so let me know which side you prefer right the engine is this now and to be honest I think I'll be very lucky Seems like no one is here. So yeah, 7.45, let's start it up guys and have a great run.
light. Okay, so nothing happened there, right?
Shoot, guys, I just realized something. Did he have some fuel here? No. Nothing on the road, too? Guys, we're gonna miss fuel, man. My god, for real. We're gonna miss fuel for sure. We won't make it, man. Let's see what happened.
Alright guys, so this is literally the first time <laughs> I do this. Yeah, it's the first time I missed some fuel because I was knowing about it. Damn. And I decided to I'm gonna be able to make the run. Use the right and then no, turn the right. honest thing is I'm really tired, we're Friday. I'm leaving for Florida Wednesday, so I need to edit like three video. Cause one for this Saturday, one for the next Saturday that I will be in Florida, and the next Saturday after this, I will just back home on the Friday, so I will not have time to make any video. That's why I really need to edit a lot of things. It's 10.30 right now. I'm exhausted. I have a big week. But man, we're gonna do some road service. They're gonna give us 15 gallon for 300 bucks. Great. Thank you, man. And I guess I will check something real quick. I will show you here, but I think I will put it also on the other video. And I will show like everything, how to install Moza on Logitech and blah, blah, blah. So you all know that you can set up your things. This is like the dashboard menu. I'm sorry it's in French because tout le monde sait que je parle mieux français que l'anglais. So right here, when you want it, you simply choose the button that you want. For me, I will use cruise control because I never use cruise control. So right now, what it will be perfect is I will be able to change on my rig to see the dash menu and see everything like this, you know, 15 gallons, 71 miles, oil temp, water temp, speed, cruise, TV output. So this is perfect, man. I love it. Let's crank it up. Back on the road again.
guys this is like something that i think they really need to improve because the gear is supposed to you, you see like this like 600 rpms same speed a small push on the gas or just put it in second gear it's supposed to like just fit in so this is something that's not cool because we need to use the clutch to Continue straight. grab your gear and normally it won't be like this normally you just cruising really slow like this just approaching the second gear and you feel it if it's too fast go to the third gear slowly gently if it's not working just slow down a bit and try again this kind of sucks is it me or we under we not understand but we listen listen we are like badass v8 on the idol it's kind of cool <laughs> yeah I, do you think we can hurt it when the light will be green or our truck making too much noise I think it will be the second option let's see This is a really, really nice spot. Let's take some shots. I will show you two of three, like I was doing on the good old days of DB7. Let me know if you like it, guys. If you're still here after 37, let me know if you like to see a nice picture like this during the video. doing guys do we go to put some fuel right here on the left Turn right. or I you can deliver mm, I think I'm gonna deliver the load and I will put some fuel ladder ooh la la ooh, 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 ooh. that was close I didn't see this I was thinking like a real entry oh for sure 
but the cutter seems to be like rounded all right it won't blow off the tire it's a game Guys, look at this Bushnell farm at Cody, Wyoming. Wow. And people are asking why we love ADS? Guys, look at that, how beautiful this is. Imagine be there on the real life. The mountain, the horse, the farm. This is so cool, man. I love it. I love to relax like this. But it's not cool. It's I take all my Friday to do something like this instead of enjoying time with my girlfriend. But man, I want this channel to be alive and I want to see if people really like realistic driving like I do. I try to drive really, really great. It's a game. It's not 100% perfect, but I try to make it real. Like a place like this in real life, you won't go fast. You don't even want to scare every every animal are there, so you don't want, you don't want to scare them. So you won't make some noise, and you don't want too much dust. I'm sure the owner of the farm will appreciate that you come really yeah, slow right. like this. Starting to lose my voice again. <laughs> still here guys drop a like leave a comment let me know you're here for real it's around five to ten percent of you that watch it the old video so you're really really the, the official real supporter real fan of this channel i want to give you some love so i love you guys thank you now let's check how we can make this parking where it is between those <coughs> yeah, it looks like it between those. If the gate could be open, that will be perfect in front of us. So yeah, if this gate can be open, that will be the best, best thing. But now, let's check out on the outside. I think we're gonna back up on the left on the parking. After this, we're gonna be able to do it blindside, but we don't have choice. So yeah, we're gonna try to back up. We're gonna we will not try, we will do it. Let's do it. Back up on the passenger side, pull up, and after this, we're gonna back up in this place.
Alright, so, so far it's looking good. Are we too close to the trailer on the passenger side? Mm, yeah. Yeah. So, it was a really, really good one. We're like one trailer, but we didn't see anything. So, this is perfect. Now it's like more easy to correct. Even if it's not that easy on the blind side, but let's make it. We're almost here, but it's not enough. My god. Once again, too close on the passenger side. So we're almost straight. Let's put it in the center and finish this run. All right, guys, this is it now. Let's take some nice picture. Oh, I forgot. Yep. We need the truck to be um, running. We need the truck to be running to drop the front axle. All right, guys, now I'm really tired. Thank you so much to be here. Stay safe. Ciao.